Hey guys, it's Zach with Aldec, and today we're going to take a closer look at the code coverage feature inside the HDL editor that exists inside of Riviera Pro. While running simulations, you can use the HDL editor to track the coverage taking place on your source files for your design. While stepping through test benches or signal vector stimulus, you can watch the design collect coverage statistics. Inside the HDL editor, you can use coverage highlighting to visually verify the lines that have met coverage statistics. In the toolbar, you can enable this highlighting by clicking on the Highlight Coverage Lines button. Inside the HDL editor, you can exclude and include lines of code for coverage analysis. If the lines are included, you can verify the coverage for the source code line by line. Once this is enabled, the code becomes highlighted with respect to lines which have been verified. Lines highlighted in green indicate that the coverage conditions were met for this line, and lines highlighted in red indicate that those conditions have not been met. Any lines with gray highlighting would indicate that those lines were excluded from coverage analysis. For the lines that weren't executed 100% while viewing the code highlighting, you can expand the margin to get more information on that code coverage. Inside the HDL editor, we can see the visual code coverage statistics for statement, branch, expression, and condition coverage analysis. We can access this by right-clicking in the upper left margin and going to the coverage section and selecting the types of coverage analysis we'd like visible in the margin of our HDL editor. A green check indicates that the coverage conditions for that line were met, and a red X indicates that the coverage conditions were not met. Any lines that were excluded from coverage analysis are indicated using a gray NO symbol. If you'd prefer a different format for viewing the coverage statistics for your simulation run, you can generate reports within the HDL editor as well. If you right-click and go to Coverage and Generate Report, a window will open and allow you to select which types of coverage to include and other selective criteria as well. If you'd like to generate a report using just one of the selected types of code coverage, you can go to the column in that margin that you'd like to generate a report of and right click and go to coverage and generate report. It will automatically select the single coverage you indicated and you can generate the report for just that quicker. So if we go ahead and start a simulation, we can see that all the lines in the source file indicate no coverage has taken place on the design. If we run for 100 nanoseconds, we can see that some coverage has taken place. We can see how many times each statement has been executed, how many times each branch of if statements have been taken, etc. We can continue to do this until we reach a point where we'd like to generate a report summarizing this information. We can now generate a report as previously demonstrated, and this will display the information you are viewing in the HDL editor in an HTML formatted report that is easy for sharing. That's it for this video on code coverage in the HDL editor. Thanks for watching.